13 men. Now on your home for minor league and baseball. Now, MLB The Show Oklahoma has coverage from the City. AAA Pacific Coast League. Here we go. We've got a good matchup in store between the Memphis Redbirds and the Oklahoma City Dodgers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Orlando Estrada, a Cuban-born right-hander, will be on the mound to start. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Batting second. Now with the plate, the Mariano Villalobos. Mariano. As he'll get his okay. first opportunity. Somebody's stealing. Buddy's got 57 speed. He might beat, beat me there. The throw down. Yeah, he beat me. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious. Now at the plate, Marcel, franchise. Nine for 39. In this one. Not That's fucking much gross. Success at the plate over the last week and a half. First offering on its way. Smoke That's on down. the ground, left side. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Now the throw comes quickly into the third baseman, so they're at the corners now to begin the inning. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive that base hit. The right fielder. And that'll bring Andrew. in the speedy left-handed hitter, Andrew Toll. Oh, he's a lefty. He I can't get too far. Win last night. Here's the 0 and 2. Swing and a looper to left. Garcia ranging forward. He can't get to it. This one's down. And oh, I should have gone third. In there with their first run. It's a 2 to 1 game now. Way to be. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side and the offensive side to send him. And the outfielder made a shot. Come on, Cressy. That base runner base. was safe. No Number doubt nine. about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're hey. taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send a good send in a close play, but it all worked out. Come set and the 0-1. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. And he indeed oh. takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And diving into the numbers on this team, the one thing that Batting jumps eight. off the page the is the fact fielder. that these guys can flat yeah. play D. The Let's highest see. building percentage in the league. Something to focus on today when you're watching this one. And point. that misses one and one. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for Come on, man. Two. Well, you got to do sack fly. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Waiting on it, the center fielder. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Now the tag by Malone, Safe. But it comes too late. He's in there to score. That's right, baby. That's Always right. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Digging in, Lewis Ballard. Now he drew a walk his first time up. Lewis. From Ballard. the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch misses. Oh, I got him by a long shot. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base run. I beat him by a long shot on that one. Ready for another Ready chance? For Marcel, Dodgers. franchise. The He'll catcher. start things out Fair here in a job. tie ball game. Oh, missed that one by Why am I? Oh my it's God, that's a knuckle curve, hey, he bro. He gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in the <sighs> CB. Fouled away. That could have been a dinger pitch right there.
A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Why is it giving me challenges? And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt Oh, you're going to call that a strike, Humpy. Fuck ball you. On the fastball, one gone. Now at the plate, Marcel, franchise. One for two on doctor. his line so far in the game. The catcher, Marcel, franchise. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitchers' pitches. Fuck this you. guy knows the strike zone. Number 66 is there, and he has it for the out. That's okay. At the plate, Marcel now Franchise. He flew out in his Marcel. last at bat. Yeah, give me the same at bat. As you stride to the plate right here, give me the same execution. Just get something in the air. You got a chance to take the lead right here. Don't try and do any more. I want to hit a no slam. That's what strike. I want to do. Rojas, the runner at third. Russ, over at second. Taylor is over at first with one away. High in Go. the air down the right field line. Go. Martinez over to his left. And he hauls it down in the Go corner. Go home. He's safe. Yes. The was offline. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Hey, putting together good at bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at bat that leads That's what to I'm his talking team. about. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. Catcher, and he needs four. to make something happen. They're Yadier. down to their final out here oh, in the ninth. I mean, Yadier Everybody's going to seal. Was it defense? Got him down, got him down, got him. Yep, that's the game. He is out trying to take second, and this ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done, but, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Dodgers jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Kenta Maeda claims the win out of the pen his first. Yimmy Garcia closes the door for the save, his sixth. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.